Hey everyone, James here with Rococo and I'm back with another tutorial. This time I want to show you how to export um, virtual production tracker data and use it within Unity. So let's get started. So as you see here, we do already have a recording in place and now what we're just going to do is export it. So we opened up our export options and you, one thing that you want to make sure is the export VP data checkbox is checked. Once that's checked, make sure you know everything else can be set to default and then hit the export button. And then once you've done that, let's go ahead and jump over to Unity and apply it there. All right, so here we are in Unity and we already have our scene in place and we have a camera set up and we're gonna go ahead and import that tracker data and we're gonna apply it to our camera. So in order to go ahead and do that, we need to um, import our, our tracker data. We're just gonna drag and drop it directly into the assets folder. And uh, when you go ahead and click on uh, the imported data, you can go down to motion and you'll see root motion node. We need to change this to the name of the tracker that we used um, in order to record that data, which was the camera tracker. You just hit apply. And then um, next you wanna go ahead and click on camera and we need to apply an animator to our camera because we will be adding an animation to it. Um, so once you've added your animator, we need to also add a, an animator controller. So we'll go ahead and create one of those as well and then we'll go ahead and name it just camera. And then once you've created it, you can go ahead and drag and drop it right into the controller box. And then we'll also need an avatar, which is the avatar on our tracker data. So we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop the avatar directly into the avatar box. And then we'll also apply root motion. And then lastly, you wanna open up the animator window. And within here, you're just gonna go ahead and drag and drop the animation clip that came in with your tracker data and drop it right into there. And then once that's done, you should be able to go ahead and hit play. And you should now start to see um, the game object that you have applied the tracker data to start to move based on your recording. Um, and that's pretty much it. So this was just a quick and easy guide on showing you how to go ahead and export tracker data from Studio and apply it to your game object within Unity. I hope this was helpful for you guys, and I look forward to seeing what kind of projects you make um, utilizing this method. Thanks for watching, guys.